Hello. Today let's continue the discussion of hardening your home. Hardening your home simply means making it harder for someone or something to enter. Given the current political, social and economic issues, I believe it's critically important to have a secure place for you and your family to stay inside for as long as needed. I mentioned in yesterday's video that most homes make people feel safer but most homes are far from secure. Ever watch the Purge movies? Could your family survive 12 hours in your home? How about 12 months? Three months? Three weeks? Three days? Can your home currently protect your family for just three minutes? Most people are fooling themselves if they think their homes are secure without hardening their homes. Most homes can't prevent entry for three seconds. In the preparedness world, it's called preparing to bug in. Whether a violent criminal, an angry ex, a desperate neighbor, wild animals, or a small group with weapons, I want you to know that they can't get in. I want you to know that you and your family are safe and secure in your home. At a minimum, we want to be alerted to an attempt to enter and delay their entry. You need enough time to wake up from a deep sleep, realize the threat is real, know where your family is within your home, get tools in hand, command them verbally to get out, wait behind cover for an intruder to enter a fatal funnel, call 911, and stop all threat to you and your family until police arrive and clear your home. Preparedness also means having enough of the necessities to survive clean air, shelter, self-defense, water, food, medicine, first aid, uh, toiletries like toothpaste and soap, and convenience items like toilet paper. Well, that topic's more for another day. Let's continue with hardening our homes. Hopefully, you've already had the discussion with your family of the importance of keeping your doors locked at all times. By the way, you'll have to constantly remind them and follow up for a while. Hopefully you've also bought some three to four inch deck screws to replace all the screws in your doors. If not, why not? My belief is that sooner is safer. Since doors are the most common point of unwanted entry, let's further harden your doors. All of my exterior doors include a kit called Door Armor Max. Um, the kit reinforces and extends every attachment point of the door with the metal parts and includes the long screws to secure all the hardware through the frame of the door into the frame of the house. The next thing all my doors include is an additional heavy duty deadbolt accessible only from the inside. In other words, when the hidden deadbolt is locked, there's no way to pick the lock or drill it out because there's no part of it that's outside the door. These are only used as additional security when we're inside the home. There are many types of devices available um, to further secure your doors from inside the home. There's a variety of deadbolts, barricades. Some secure the opening side, some the hinge side. Some secure the bottom to the floor. Some across the entire door. Whatever you use, the important thing to be sure of is that the device is secured to the house, not just the door frame. Now let's talk about doors with glass in or next to the door. Most glass requires very little pressure to break. If the glass was removed, could you reach in and unlock your door? It upsets me that teachers are instructed that in case of an active killer, to lock the classroom door and get the kids out of view. Every classroom door that I've ever seen has at least a small pane of glass near the lock. Unless someone is hiding by the door to cut off the arm or the killer when it reaches through to open the lock, then the lock is only a deterrent and does not secure the room. Same goes for your home. Choose a backup device to secure your door that can't be opened by simply breaking glass and reaching inside. Another option are uh, security storm doors or sec security screen doors. A security storm door typically includes decorative wrought iron. Security screen doors have screens that can't be broke nor cut. 
both require a metal saw to get through the door again though be sure the security door is secured to the frame of the house my screen door also utilizes a, a three-point locking handle which secures the door to the, not just the middle but also the top and bottom of the frames my security screen doors allow me to actually leave my doors open to circulate fresh air through the home anytime day or night and still know that my family is safe remember over 60 percent of unwanted entry into your home is through a door deny entry secure your doors sooner is safer please use the comments to ask questions and share your thoughts please like and subscribe toggle notifications to all and we'll hope to see you again soon stay safe make it a great day bye for now